Hi guys and welcome to another EV6 video. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know when the next video drops. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. I am currently doing an extreme challenge just for myself, nobody else, uh, just to see how accurate this range is. And so far, it's pretty accurate. Let me show you. So right when I hit 10%, I got this message saying, low EV battery warning, please visit nearby charging station, 10%, and the range is below. And then obviously it gives you the option to charge, uh, sorry, to search for charging stations. Uh, I'm still driving in sport mode. No, I did not switch to eco to save because why? I still have 20 kilometers more than I need and I would have gained only uh, five kilometers if I switched to Eco. So I decided not to, because why not? Adventure, right? Uh, so yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, once I get home, I will share uh, what percentage and uh, what range I had remaining. I have the AC running at low automatic climate control at 22.5 degrees Celsius, and I'm doing highway speeds in sport mode. I have 24 kilometers remaining, 7%. I got the second warning at 5% and in the gauge cluster, right where the range is, uh, I got a message saying charge immediately limited power, which means you have access to maximum power all the way down to 5%. I always charge my car to 100% and as you can see, I have 17 kilometers remaining at 5% and I was able to get just under 365 kilometers out of it uh, and the average economy was 19.2 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. If you throw that 17 kilometers in that will put me at uh, 375, 383-ish. Yeah, so that's pretty accurate uh, to what the range was in sport mode when I unplugged the car. There you have it. This is the real life range and economy on this car based on my driving habits, sport mode, AC running all the time, and that includes city and highway driving and also some fun driving. I just plugged my car in and it will take 10 hours and 30 minutes for it to go from 5% to 100% at 7.6 kilowatt. I hope you found it useful and if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, comment, share and thank you for watching.